I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I was told by the clock in the back. So, <laughs> to find out. Yeah, we need to crack that. That hasn't been right for quite a while. Um, <laughs> it is 11 now, according to you. It was a it's late. late. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we started on. Okay. That's motion to approve the agenda is printed. Uh, if you choose. To make a motion to approve the agenda is printed. Second. Been moved and second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda, March 7th meeting minutes, payroll of $405,387.32, and abatement of $308.12. I move to approve the consent agenda. Been moved. I'll second it. Been moved and seconded. All in favor? Any discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Commission comments and committee reports. Ron? I just been. I want to compliment on the rain we got. That was kind of nice to get in, clean the air a little bit, and moisten the soil up. So we're sure proud to have that. Lynn, no comment today. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, we had managers uh, in this morning and elected officials. Uh, I will. The work session. The, we got a letter from our county engineer on the 1100 Avenue Bridge, 2325. Uh, our county engineer and says it's structurally. Sufficient, so we won't be doing anything with that in the near future, if at all. Other comments? Anybody from the comment? Did any on, online want to make a comment? Nobody online. Anybody in person here? Yes. Please step to the podium and state your name. And three to five minutes. Thank you, ma'am. Sure, sure. Hi, my name is Kay Hoffman, and I live at 1363 1100 Avenue in Hope. And the last couple of weeks, I've noticed some things going on out in our county that I wanted to make sure that was brought to your attention, although I don't see how, as being county commissioners, you could not know about this. But as you all know, I travel from school to school for USD 473. So I'm all the way from Blue Ridge out to Rural Center everywhere almost every day and um, several weeks ago i started noticing a truck parked on our county and township roads that had atwell engineering on the side with colorado license plates and i saw the truck often enough and he was always on a corner usually that several times i pulled up beside him to see if i could just see what he was doing out in our neck of the woods and he never would make eye contact me with me he always looked down like he was busy so at that time, I reached out to Tim Hamilton to see if he had any idea who it was because he's our counting zoning head of the zoning commission. I thought he might know. He did not know. So one afternoon last week, I noticed that that same truck was parked in the ditch adjacent to our property. So I went out there and I noticed he was digging a hole in the middle of the road and had a tripod set up and he was shooting a laser and i could tell by the sound my husband uses lasers all the time in his work and since he was adjacent to our property i went out there to ask what he was doing to question him he advised me that he was working for the townships and marking the corners of sections and taking measurements every half mile at this time i told him i doubted that he was working for the townships because my husband is on the rich township board and they have a very limited budget and would not have the funds to pay for someone to come out and mark the sections. He shrugged and said that's all he knew. He was working for the townships. I advised I had seen him numerous places in our county. And at this time, I asked where he was staying. And he said, Selena. So I said, well, it's really Selina, but Selena. And that I said, well, are you eating there? Yeah, breakfast and dinner. And are you getting your gas there? Well, yeah. And so I just left him there, went on about his measurements close to my property. And several days later, my husband got a call from Anel apologizing for their truck being parked on our property. He was not on our property. He was in our ditch. But Anel said, yes, they had hired the company to mark corners of all, this, uh, all the sections, which I found interesting. 
Bob and I traveled several miles of the Ridge Township roads, which she is a board member of. And yes, there were holes dug every half a mile in the middle of the road. The reason I'm bringing this to your attention is because of two things. One, I don't understand why Enel is spending all this money if they, if they have not been led to believe that they will get some sort of project passed in our neck of the woods out there. And number two, I've sat here at meetings and we've been told by believers that have signed leases that Enel is going to bring big money into our county. They are not off to a very good start. I am sure that all of you know something about this and why they were marking the sections in our counties that you in our county that you represent. However, this company did nothing to keep money in Dickinson County. There are places to stay in Abilene. There are places to stay in Harrington. There are restaurants in Abilene, although not that many anymore. There are restaurants in Harrington, Woodbine. And this part of an L's project certainly did not spend any money in Dickinson County. I've spoken to the project manager from Anel and he's always been very nice and courteous to me and he was nice to my husband when he reached out to him. I'm not sure how he, Bob can't figure that out either, how he reached out to him on his cell phone, but he did. I can see where you all and anybody would be enamored by him. He's very smooth in his agenda and the promises that he makes. He, however, has one mission and that's to get a wind farm owned by a foreign country in our county. And that wind farm owned by the foreign country is way too close to my quiet. As my 95 year old dad short said shortly before he passed when asked what the best advice he could give his kids and grandkids. And he said, pay attention. So from advice from my 94 year old, 95 year old dad who bladed roads in this county for his whole life, I urge you all to pay attention to this. This is just the beginning of an example of where all this money is being spent and none of it is coming into the economy in Dickinson County. I'm sure Saline County is very happy to have them spending the money there. In my opinion, only in my opinion, and that does not seem to be off to such a good start with the promise of bringing big money into Dickinson County. <clears throat> Thanks. Anybody else wants to pick up name and topic? Mr. Bielefeld. Raymond Bielefeld, 329 Key Road. She brought up a point that I've been very curious about. I live on 329 Key Road, two miles from the Marion County line. Intersection, there's holes in there for quite a while. Do you guys know anything about that? No. Um, it, I would, only from the standpoint, and I didn't um, connect that particular part. I was uh, had gone down to Ebenezer Cemetery and cut across and came up on the blacktop, and I had to slow down as they got out of the way. And like you say, they had removed some asphalt, it appeared like, and uh, for their purposes, and I just didn't think about even who they were with. I needed to get to my next stop. Um, so that, that would be a concern I think we need to think of. Um, if if that road has to be patched or all of a sudden there's a pothole if that's a year right. from now right. or in the next few months, um, I, I, I guess we need to find out mm -hmm. who gave the authorization for someone to go and um, mm -hmm. could at least pull the holes back then. Huh? Thank you. Well, they appeared to be, but you know, like I said, I mean, I just drove by and they were moving their equipment and I slowed down so they could get out of the middle of the road. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Kim Wells, um, I'm at 1500, 1600 Avenue, right? Enterprise, in between Enterprise and Navarre. Um, I'm about two miles north of Navarre. And I wasn't planning on speaking today, but just as a follow up to those two, we have a hole, I would guess, about this size. Um, I should have taken a picture of it at the end of our dirt road. Um, and that's 
we didn't know what it was until Kate told us what was going on. And my husband said that there had been one by our mailbox also that he noticed where all the dirt or all the rock was taken away from it. And there was a hole there. Um, so we called, he, I wish he was here. He had to work at the house today, so he couldn't be here. Um, he called the highway department and they told him to, um, we couldn't get a hold of the highway department here in Abilene. So he called the main number. They told him to call Clay Center. So we called Clay Center and they knew nothing about it. We said, who would be making holes in our highway? And they knew nothing about it. So they said they would contact the Abilene Highway Department. And we never did hear anything back. But following up on those two, I, I wanted to let you know. Thank you. That there is a hole at the end of our road okay. also. Anybody else? Okay. Jessica, is this going to take more than three minutes? No, I will be quick. Okay. Uh, Jessica Gadell with the Economic Development, Dixon County Economic Development. I just wanted to share real quickly that last Friday we had a ribbon cutting and grand opening for Casey's in Harrington. Um, it was very well attended. We had um, almost all of our current uh, commissioners with Harrington, as well as quite a bit of previous ones, our mayor, our city manager, and about 35 other guests. So that was really exciting. And um, everyone I've talked to has driven by says it is absolutely packed every time they um, drive by Casey's. So that's really exciting for Harrington. And then also wanted to just um, invite you to a ribbon cutting that we have this Friday right across the street at um, uh, Midwest Creamery and Q. So they are doing their grand opening. They've done a soft launch last week and they're doing their ribbon cutting on Friday at one o'clock. Thank you. If nobody else? Nobody else has indicated they'd like to speak on the... Report of County Officer Janelle. Uh, commissioners, as Jeannie said, I'll let Jeannie talk about it. It's her, it's her deal. So um, you were invited to the recovery court drug graduation, drug court graduation uh, Wednesday, and it was very well attended, back packed house. They had four of the original members graduate the class and that's a, a minimum a year-long class it could be a little bit longer if need be so very excited that this is a program that is um, accomplishing so much so um, i was glad to hear that we're interviewing for an rn position at the health department and also we are looking for a nurse to contract to handle the foot care as john told you in the study session we usually see about 100 citizens that uh, utilize that foot care service. I'm not going to volunteer for that, but just letting you know. We have a couple open positions. One is the assistant county attorney and another a paralegal in the county attorney's office, also a deputy. And we're advertising for summer help in the highway department. So if you're 18 years of age and would like to get out and learn the county and help out, that would be great. Martin advised that we are working on the dirt work at 1145 First Road. That's the bridge that we're sharing with Clay County and that's progressing. So we'll take a little tour of that. Old 40, that bridge at 1022 Old 40, the road is closed there. So we had a little bit of a hiccup. Unfortunately, AT&T had advised the uh, engineering firm that fiber had been moved. They were thinking of another project and didn't remember where this project was at. It has not been moved. It will be moved next week and then we'll start in earnest. They're still working on it, but just in a lesser extent. So, and then as many of our staff earlier uh, advised, they are listening to legislative committee hearings at the state so we can monitor what's going on there. Also, in case anybody is aware, you'll see the press release coming out that the state of Kansas is declaring a disaster for the cold weather January 7th through the 16th. You had to document your equipment, fan hours, locations, whatever was damaged during that time, take pictures. Dickinson County has a threshold of $85,000 and at least on the county side, we're not going to meet that. And I don't know as any of the townships would have that much in damage. I do know that in other counties in the state, there was infrastructure that was damaged. And that's one of the reasons why the state is able to meet their threshold, but that's probably close to 6 million, between five and 6 million that they're gonna have to meet. So 
And that's uh, that's what I would have for you, unless you have any questions. Ron, Lynn, Joe? No. No. I don't have anything to report. Everything's going as good as it can go for the time being. So <laughs> if something changes, I'll let you know. Thank you. Give me your collection report. Yes, we are have a couple of more days left on the presidential primary. That early voting ends at noon on Monday. And then election day will be on Tuesday and the polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I just want to remind people that the courthouse is a polling place and that we do not allow any political clothing, hat signs. So. so basically, if they'd come to the door, they just need to be advised in case they didn't think about what hat they had right. on or. Right. And then they can either leave it there or go to their car and just mm -hmm. leave it there and come back. Or... It is posted outside and security is aware and they would ask them to either change their shirt inside out, remove their hat. If they have paperwork that they want to hand out, uh, that is prohibited currently. So and they're aware of that as well. Okay, then we will are get also after that is over with. We're going to get started on the USD 435 school bond. And I just want to remind people that March 28th is the last day to register to make sure you're registered if you want to vote on that. That's all I have. I might put a clarification on that. I, I, I think someone that did some research on it, they just put where the polling places were just to pull it off the website. But on that, it would be only for the 435 district. Right. Anybody that So even though it happened to say on the pamphlet small print that Chapman was a polling place or Solomon or right. it, this wasn't something you did. It was something I think the, the um, committee put together quickly. And, yeah, and the committee did ask for just strictly the polling page places that would be open for that that vote that on okay. election. So there is it'll be out there. Right now with us being still being in the presidential election. We're trying to get past that over that till we start posting more stuff on that. <laughs> so people aren't confused, right? Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah. There's the notices and communications. We have our membership dues for the KCCA uh, population 10,000 to 24,544.68. We got a Kansas Department of Health and Environmental letter that. Uh, ones that have asked permits and none of them are in our county or adjacent counties. And I got a we got a letter from a uh, person, didn't, yeah, on behalf of Dana Holman, uh, request to withdraw if that submitted to the state of Kansas and the Kansas set off program. Anything else, Tim? We had nothing on the computer. Unfinished business, none. Other business? Annual management and moxious plan and moxious weed eradication report. Commissioners, this is an annual report that environmental services has to turn into the state with the goals and priorities for the noxious weed program that we are in charge of. It's pretty detailed. They're asking for the not to identify the noxious weed species. Also, how many acres that we have where the noxious weeds are located and the treatment of that. They ask for our budget and where the funds come for that. And they get into the equipment, the personnel and that. And then if you look further in the report, you know, the categories and how many um, acres were sprayed, how many acres are private land, township, county. And, and um, pretty detailed, like I said, and then the chemicals used. So we just ask that you would approve and sign this report and we'll turn it into the state for the regulation. Any questions for Joe? All right, motion to approve. No. So moved. I'll second it. Hundred and second. Any other discussion? If not all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And there should be two pages in the report for your signature. Okay. Future meetings and agenda items. Uh, Senator Marshall will be at the town hall meeting at the community center tomorrow at 1.30. Uh, 
None of the commissioners will be able to attend. We've all got other commitments. Township meeting March 25th at Sterling Hall 2024. And the North Central Kansas County Highway Association meeting April 3rd, 2024 in McPherson County Community Building. I contain a motion to adjourn. So move. I'll second. Any discussion? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Stand adjourned.